En quoi tu Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. The video link has now le been Président, nous avons rétabli la liaison vidéo. And before I hand the floor to you, we would like to remind you of a et avant de vous laisser la parole, j'aimerais vous rappeler Please speak une slowly chose. Veuillez parler so lentement, je vous the interpreter can probably interpret your statement in through English and en French en simultaneously. En effet, vous êtes interprété en simultané. And before you respond to the questions put to you, please listen to the questions posées, carefully and observe a slight pause. A été demandé et marqué une so that your voice will go through the system properly. And pour que l'intégralité de vos propos lastly, soit entendue par tous. Please, uh, Dernier point. Start your statement again. Veuillez reprendre votre déclaration. And you may que state vous avez what you encountered, the hardships or the harms inflicted upon you during the democratic Cambodia regime that is from the 17th April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. You may state all your experience and uh, the Democratic Cambodia regime, and you may now proceed. Sous le Cambodia Democratic. Je vous laisse à présent la parole. Civil Party. First of all, I am thankful to Mr. President and Your Honor for giving me this Monsieur opportunity. Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les Juges, de m'avoir donné l'occasion de m'exprimer aujourd'hui. It has been over 30 years. Cela fait plus de 30 ans. That I cannot forget what happened under the Khmer Rouge regime. Mais je ne peux oublier ce qui s'est produit sous le régime Khmer Rouge. The mistreatment on more than two million Cambodian people. Les civils qui ont duré plus de deux myself. millions de Cambodgiens, y compris moi-même. On the 17 April 1975. Le 17 avril. 1975. Il est impossible de décrire la cruauté que l'on a vue ce jour-là, à partir de ce jour-là. Cela dépassait l'entendement. Personne ne pouvait s'attendre à ce que ça se produise. J'ai vu que l'on a tué un bébé qui était encore en paix à l'été. Ce sont les Khmer Rouges qui ont commis ce crime. Comment peut-on faire une chose pareille Alors que j'étais en route, j'ai vu beaucoup de gens qui sont morts à Phnom Penh. J'étais en route sur la route nationale numéro 1. Et sur la route nationale numéro 1, j'ai vu des corps et dans le fleuve, j'ai vu des cadavres qui flottaient. Cela m'a beaucoup choqué. I continued from Kinswai, crossing the river in an attempt to go to Battambang province, which was the native place of my parents. But we could not reach the destination as my parents were sick, and my siblings' bodies were swollen from malnutrition. We did not have anything with us except the clothes that we wore. Nous n'avons rien avec nous à part les vêtements que nous avions sur le dos. 
two or three weeks after the 17 April 1975, money was still used and they spent some money to buy donc something to eat. Peu pour de quoi But later on, it could not be used and we were placed suite, in a cooperative. A été interdit. Nous ne pouvons pouvions plus nous en servir et nous avons été mis dans des coopératives. We lived with the deprivation of food. Nous avons vécu ainsi privé de nourriture. And we were only giving a ration and the word ration there it means everybody would be given the same thing and that only applied for the, the new people. Mais tout le monde and the new people means the 17 nouveau. April people who were from Phnom Penh and the old or the best people were those who were living at their villages. We were given three Letters of watery gruels, only with a few grains of husk rice and a little bit of a salt. Que, que, que I never wanted to recount such an experience. The experience that we, we first, and that the new people first, and I can never forget that. Our first freedom was deprived. We were not allowed to cry, to laugh, Nous n'avions pas le droit de pleurer, de rire, ou encore même de parler. At 5 a.m., we were asked to work until noon, and then we were given three letters of gruel. We were given, and in late evening, we were given another three letters, and then we worked again until about 10 or 11. But I was not sure of the hours, as we did not have any watch to look at. And the work was hard. We were during the night and there was no light. Sometimes we stumbled and fell down. We did not have any shoes to wear. And we only have one black cloth that we wore. Un ensemble d'habits noirs que nous devions porter. And when we were sick, there was no medical treatment or medicine provided. Malade, nous ne recevions aucun médicament, aucun traitement. Et si quelqu'un était gravement malade. That person will be uh, given a rabbit uh, drop pellet. It could be a mixture of uh, some rice and some other stuff. Uh, it was a bit avec sweet. Choses, uh, un peu sucré. Could you imagine living without freedom? Pouvez-vous imaginer ce que c'est que de vivre privé de votre liberté? Carried a basket of rice or corn on my head, and at that time I was about 21 years old. De riz ou de maïs and of course, I was still at the age that ans. I could still grow taller, but with such Et a weight on my body, grandir, I could not grow any taller. Continuer de grandir, and mais that avec was the impact of carrying heavy grandir. Je things de la même from taille. that regime. L'impact qui c'est une séquelle with a friend. encore aujourd'hui du fait d'avoir eu à transporter I said a friend, des choses très lourdes. That person was someone also who left Phnom Penh. Un de mes amis qui a quitté Phnom Penh aussi. She said that. She was thinking of the two younger siblings that uh, she did not know where they were. And just by saying that phrase, next morning, next early morning, two black clad soldiers came to us and called the two of us to walk across the rice field. Deux personnes en noir sont venues, and when we nous ont dit de marcher dans la rivière et lorsque nous sommes arrivés au bout de, de la rizière, ça reprend l'interprète, and they asked that person, and her name was Moi, et ils ont demandé à cette personne, qui s'appelait Moï, de creuser un trou, of about her size, à peu près grand comme elle. And imagined that 
We did not have sufficient food to eat, and Imaginez, she had to dig the pit. Nous n'avions pas assez à and manger, because of the exhaustion, she could not continue trou, digging the pit. Et parce qu'elle était épuisée, elle n'a pas pu continuer à creuser. The two Khmer asked her whether Les deux rouges lui ont demandé she already finished digging the pit. Si elle avait terminé de creuser. And then. They pushed her into the pit and Mais buried her alive. And they said that dans le trou, you, now we send you vivant. to meet with your dit, relatives. Eh bien, voilà, I don't want to cry now, but when I recall it, je ne veux pas it pleurer, seems to be vivid in front of my eyes. À cet événement, she was buried très alive. Lucide, je le vois encore. Elle a été enterrée vivant. And the two soldiers said to me, Now you see what Et happened. Ces deux Now you ensuite, turn to work. Tu vois ce qui se produit? I did not dare to cry. Je If I cry, I will be killed si by two soldiers. Deux soldats I tué. tried not to cry. Then I came back to carry husk rice on my Et head again. Et j'ai transporté du riz décortiqué. I tried sur ma to tête. survive. And try to be humble to them. J'ai essayé When de I survivre to my et d'être humble. Quand I did not je suis retourné au travail, je n'ai pas osé dire quoi que ce soit. I was so shocked by seeing that friend buried alive. J'étais bouleversé d'avoir vu mon ami enterré vivant. Je suis tombé sans connaissance plus tard. And they tried to massage me, to wake me up. Pour essayer de me Réveillé. Upon gaining my consciousness, I did not even dare to tell them what happened. Je n'ai pas osé dire à personne ce que j'avais vu. And when I was unconscious, uh, a medic came uh, with some kind of a Fanta bottle fluid. They were about to inject me. I gained consciousness. Un, un soignant est venu avec une bouteille de Fanta. And I told the medic that it's okay. There is no need. Et j'ai donné une injection. Finalement, je me suis réveillé. For the injection. Et j'ai dit au soignant qu'il n'y avait pas besoin de m'injecter. And of course, I regained my consciousness based on my mental strength. Évidemment, je me suis je suis parvenu à reprendre connaissance grâce à ma volonté. I kept falling down because of the over exhaustion mais je n'arrêtais pas de trébucher de tomber car j'étais épuisé sometimes i thought of committing myself by jumping into the river because we were uh, on the river bank mais je me suicider en me jetant dans la rivière car nous étions au bord du fleuve because i thought that living In this situation was meaningless. I could not even cry. I could not do anything. The food was insufficient. I did not have any strength. I, when I went up or climb up a ladder, I had to climb up not only with my true feet but also with my true hands. When I was so weak, I was so weak. 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 Mother at the time was staying with me, and if I were to die, nobody would look si after her. Because for the porridge that was given to me, I tried to put either grass or morning glory with, uh, mixed with a bit of salt into de it, de it and I gave it to her. De riz, autre chose et ensuite je lui donne because of my mother I decided not to commit suicide by jumping into the river ma mère que j'ai choisi finalement de ne pas me suicider en me jetant dans le fleuve once again cannot forget what happened under the Khmer Rouge regime I abandoned my study j'ai dû abandonner les études and In fact, I determined to leave so that I could see what happened next. Et en fait, j'étais déterminé à continuer de vivre pour voir ce qui allait se passer par la suite. And to see how far pour would that Khmer Rouge regime went? Khmer Rouge pouvait aller. Rather go. What they did by killing millions of people were miserable. Ce qu'ils 
There was no fait. hygiene, Tué no clothing, no medicine. Aucun Everybody got lines all over the body and uh, de skin wounds. Et de plaies. I wish not to end my statement and I may respond to any questions that the put to me, but je allow me to repeat that because questions. of the living through Mais the regime, the result is terrible and it still Les remains with me. De ma vie sur and régime the experience remains with me forever. I could not see anything that is bloody on the TV or on anything. Je suis incapable I de voir so des scènes sanglantes à la télévision. Cela m'effraie. Even in my capacity as a pharmacist, I never je dare look at a blood. Mais je n'ose pas Because whenever there is a patient who comes uh, and has to deal with the blood, I would Quand ask other staff to, to, to do it. Je demande à d'autres employés de s'occuper de lui. Quand on voit quelqu'un se faire tuer I dans un so film, je détourne les yeux. When there is a loud noise or a loud bang, Quand j'entends un bruit people, violent ou des gens qui font beaucoup de bruit, I cela cannot stand me perturbe. If he speaks, uh, loudly, Même quand mon mari parle it, it fort, je ne le supporte shock. pas. And Cela these are all the results of my voilà experience living under the regime. The President, Président. thank you, Madam Ali. Now Merci. I hand over the floor to the Madame defense, Engli, uh, to the uh, <coughs> civil party lawyer to put the question uh, to the civil party. You may proceed, Council. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs les juges. Bonjour à tous ici présents dans le prétoire et aux alentours. Ennin Cheng, bonjour. Est-ce que vous m'entendez Oui, apparemment. Ennin Cheng. Je sais que c'est très difficile pour vous de vous remémorer cette période du Kampuchea démocratique. Est-ce que vous pourriez cependant, pour la Chambre, ciser les conditions dans lesquelles vous avez assisté au meurtre de ce bébé sur la route numéro 1 à l'occasion de votre déportation de Phnom Penh I told the court earlier that uh, when we were leaving Phnom Penh and we were traveling along National Road Number 1, uh, crossing Munivong Bridge, I saw a crying baby. He was actually crawling over the dead body of his mom. I wanted uh, to carry that baby. I wanted uh, to uh, take uh, the baby. I, from the time when I wanted uh, to uh, carry the baby uh, and uh, the soldier uh, carried uh, this baby was uh, so uh, brief that I could not actually <coughs> do any thing. But uh, of all of a sudden, when the soldier uh, carried this baby, they just tore the baby apart. It was a very horrifying scene. I could not imagine any human being who would do that. This was horrifying indeed. Actually, the baby was crying. He was crying because he was very hungry. He pleurait, did not have any milk uh, to drink. Uh, he was uh, crawling on the lait. dead body. À côté du de sa mère. I did not uh, want to uh, take uh, this a baby because I was also <coughs> afraid uh, of uh, my own safety, so I did not say anything, I just Donc, went je on dit, walking. Merci pour cette réponse. Thank Lorsque vous êtes arrivé à la coopérative, qu'avez-vous vu en premier lieu 
What was the first thing you saw? My apology, uh, I could not really get the entire question you asked. You mean when I first got to the cooperatives or when I was working in the cooperative? Oui. Vous êtes arrivé à la coopérative quand vous avez vu ce que vous appelez les fils de révolté. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser à la cour ce qu'étaient ces fils de révolté Well, when I reached the cooperative, it was on the second day. It was uh, in the evening. I cannot recall the exact time. But uh, people who came from Phnom Penh, they gathered and they talked uh, to each other that they would plan a protest, a rebellion against uh, the authority. They wanted uh, to go back to Phnom Penh so that they would have enough food uh, to eat and they would be able to um, use the bank note as they uh, used uh, to do. So at that time, a group of them were uh, initiating uh, the plot to uh, protest. Uh, there were around 20 or 20 plus of uh, these men. Actually, they did not use a rope, but they used the threat. Uh, they, they actually uh, carry this uh, uh, actually, they were uh, frog marched by the Khmer Rouge soldier letter, uh, using only a small piece of thread, you know, uh, tied up to their hand. And then the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier threatened them, threatened them with a gunshot if uh, they would ever protest. You could imagine the situation back then. They only tied them up with only a small piece of thread string uh, to their hand and they frog marched uh, them out. I did not know where these people were uh, heading for but I could only assume that uh, they were all executed uh, afterwards and then when I reached Rokakao I, uh, I noticed at that time that there were four family uh, who were gathered there uh, my family was one of them and among these four family there was one uh, young boy. Uh, he disappeared. He was probably frog march uh, with this group of men as well, and he never returned. So we uh, could not imagine anything, but we uh, could only sort to ourselves, uh, sing to ourselves that these people uh, would uh, uh, be killed uh, then. Merci pour votre réponse, Ang Lee Cheng. Est-ce que vous pouvez answer. dire à la Cour quel effet ces scènes ont provoqué sur vous court, uh, Quels ont été les effets de cette scène, de cette scène dont vous avez été témoin When I saw them frog march uh, these men out, I was horrified. And terrified. I thought to myself that something must have gone wrong. And nothing would ever return to normal. To put it simply, uh, these people would not be able to return uh, to their place or they could not return to the place where they came from. And I also thought to myself that there would be execution and the uh, deprivation of freedom 
que they actually tie those men up together with only a piece of thread and this was a manifestation of the dictatorship and the cruelty of this uh, regime and témoigne du caractère dictatorial et cruel de ce régime. Merci, Anne Vincheng. Lorsque vous étiez à la coopérative, vous nous avez euh, expliqué que les conditions de travail étaient épouvantables. Qu'en était-il des relations de votre chef d'unité avec vous Our living conditions at that time were uh, described in three uh, categories. Uh, those who were in the senior uh, age, uh, middle age, and uh, uh, youth or the younger age. I was in the middle uh, age category at that time. There were around 20 members of us with one uh, unit chief. Can I go on? Puis-je continuer? Oui. Ce chef d'unité, était-il yes, gentil avec that, vous? Uh, unit chief, was he kind and considerate towards you? No, no, he was not kind. No. Uh, he, she, rather, she was... Uh, uh, of a murder, murderer nature. Uh, she was cruel, gentil. she was aggressive. aggressive. aggressive uh, whatever order she uh, put down was uh, very harsh. Tous she did not speak to us strict. politely. Uh, whenever elle she addressed us, she would accuse us of being the 17 April people. She used vulgar language uh, against us. Uh, it was not the tradition uh, of Cambodia elle who address each other by this uh, disgusting language. Uh, we normally address each other politely, uh, particularly général, for Cambodian uh, women. I consider the Unitiv was a cruel Cette person. The words of the uh, devil or the words uh, of the ghost. Donc, si je comprends bien ce que vous dites devant la Chambre, so c'est que votre appartenance au peuple nouveau vous valait des insultes permanentes et quotidiennes de la part de ce chef d'unité, c'est bien ça Every day, we were insulted. Chaque jour, nous nous faisions insulter. Vous nous avez dit également avoir assisté avec euh, à l'aube, un matin, au meurtre de votre amie institutrice qui a été enterrée vivante sous vos yeux. Est-ce que vous pouvez dire à la cour ce, les conséquences jusqu'au jour d'aujourd'hui que cette scène a sur vous. Upon witnessing the buried of uh, that friend, I, uh, and I knew that uh, she uh, did not commit any mistake, any serious wrongdoing at all. She only said that uh, she did not know the fate of uh, her two uh, siblings. So I witnessed uh, this uh, lady being buried alive. And I had never seen, I had never seen 
at all uh, in the history of people Je burying uh, other people alive. Upon seeing this uh, horrifying scene, uh, I became uh, exhausted uh, and I could not do anything. I witnessed Cela that, but I could not say, I could not express it in words. That make the situation even worse uh, because I had this uh, painful uh, scene that I had uh, come across and then I could not even speak it out. Uh, this was uh, very uh, serious. I, did, I dare not uh, tell anyone about the scene I witnessed. Uh, if I risk my life uh, telling other people about this, then of course my life would be in great danger. So I dare not say anything at that time. I under these regimes, I were not allowed to cry, I were not allowed to smile. Je pas autorisé à pleurer ni à sourire. Aujourd'hui, Yang Cheng, vous vivez en France depuis de nombreuses années. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous souffrez encore de séquelles physiques et psychologiques importantes du fait des années passées sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique The President, Le uh, Council, please be advised uh, that the internet connection is not um, functioning now. Uh, we need to observe a little pause until the system is back. Nous allons devoir attendre que le problème soit réglé. Yes, it's good for me. The President, uh, you may resume now, Council. Le Président, je vous en prie, allez-y, Maître. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Chen, ce sera ma dernière question. question. Aujourd'hui, vous vivez en France. Vous y êtes établi depuis de nombreuses années. Est-ce que vous pouvez dire à la Cour quelles sont les séquelles que vous conservez de vos années passées sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique everything you went through during the democratic Kampuchea regime. Are you talking about the psychological or physical impact. Uh, if you talk about impact, of course, I have a sustained uh, suffering. I have been affected both physically and psychologically. I had to work very hard at that time when I was very young, so uh, it bear a big consequence on my physical growth. And as for my mental and psychological impact, uh, it was so severe. I never in my life had I seen any a horrifying scene of torturing people, executing people. Uh, de I de uh, had never seen a uh, witness such a uh, uh, horrifying scene before. And now, uh, as a consequence of this um, atrocity, I did not want to hear any loud noise or any uh, argument or so. Trop de bruit ou d'entendre des querelles. And when people got into accident, uh, I dare not even intervene. It was not because I did not want to intervene, but uh, I still had this uh, traumatic experience that I could not actually uh, get involved in the scene of this sort. 
de me mêler de scènes de ce genre. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai plus de questions. Andy Cheng, je vous remercie infiniment de votre témoignage. Je sais que c'est des moments difficiles à se rappeler. Je vous remercie beaucoup de l'avoir fait devant la Cour. Le Président. Thank you. Now I hand over Merci. the floor to the uh, co-prosecutor uh, to put the question to the civil party. You may proceed. Mr. St. Munkin. Thank you, Mr. President. First of all, my respect to Mr. President and your honors and my fellow colleagues uh, in the courtroom. And good afternoon to the civil party. I am the representative of the prosecution at the Khmer Rouge Tribunal. I have only a few questions. Uh, I wish to seek your clarification. You told the court earlier that you had traveled, you had left your home and you were uh, heading toward Rokakao. Could you please uh, tell the court of the event uh, that took place uh, before you left for Rakakaon? What was the reason for you leaving your place uh, to Rakakaon? Could you please uh, describe the event that unfolded uh, before uh, you left for Rakakaon? Response. On the 17th of April 1975, there was a declaration that peace prevailed in Cambodia. And at the time, um, I saw the black clad uh, soldier uh, force us to leave uh, our house. I left Phnom Penh. I just went along with others. I did not know where we were heading for. We just went. Um, uh, along National Road Number no. 1, we uh, reached uh, Kabat Nol, and then we crossed the bridge, and then we went further until we ran out of uh, any food reserve. Uh, we uh, had with us some cash, some banknotes as well, and just uh, a few weeks after that, uh, banknotes uh, could be used. Uh, we buy certain stuff for us uh, to eat as well, and we had some uh, clothes uh, with us, a few clothes with us that we could change along the way. And then uh, I thought to myself that if I continue to stay in Kim Swai, I would end up starving to death. Uh, Prosecutor, I am sorry, Madam. I would like to uh, uh, interrupt Madame, you here. I just would like to make it clear uh, step by step. Uh, I would like to know the event uh, that uh, uh, compelled you uh, to leave uh, your home. You Pourquoi said that the black cleave uh, soldiers uh, forcibly evacuated you from your home in Phnom Penh. Could you please uh, tell the court uh, what the condition, what the situation was like at that time when they were forcing you out of your house? Response. When they got there, well, actually, I at that time residing somewhere along Kilo, uh, near Kilometer Six. Uh, they forced people to leave, and I, I had no choice but to leave my house. I reached my aunt's house, and then after that, uh, the uh, soldier forced us to leave uh, our house. Uh, we uh, had to comply. Uh, they told us at that time that if we did not leave our house, the American bombardment would be imminent. Uh, then uh, we had to leave. Uh, so uh, we actually had heard of the uh, bombardment of the uh, Americans, so we had to leave in, according, uh, in accordance with the order, because they uh, said uh, that uh, uh, the, they will bombard, it, uh, they will bombard the city at the time. Question. Question. When you were leaving the city, uh, how many people were leaving uh, and about your 
family uh, how many of them were living and when you were leaving the city did you notice that there were elderly or young kids uh, along the street response I left with my two uh, brothers and uh, one younger brothers and an elderly mother uh, we did not bring uh, we did not have any small children with us question can you tell the court about your elderly mother uh, who was uh, forcibly evacuated from Phnom Penh? What was her condition along the along the road? Response. The elderly people at large, and my mother was no exception uh, to this, uh, they uh, they were uh, shocked and uh, they had no choice but to uh, leave uh, their home because they were actually forced to leave at gunpoint. Uh, so they were very uh, shocked indeed. They were uh, actually uh, shocked, but uh, they were experienced people. They had uh, come across uh, many regimes and many uh, uh, administrations, so uh, they were actually uh, very strong in terms of their uh, spirit. Uh, so uh, she actually encouraged us to go along as order. Question. When you were marching out of the city, uh, heading for Rakakao, did you observe uh, that there were Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers uh, accompanying you or guarding you along the way? Response. When I took the boat from Kien Svai and then uh, traveled to uh, Rakakao, I saw the black cleat uh, soldiers uh, ordering us uh, to move. I did not know where we were heading for exactly at that time, but they simply ordered us uh, to move on, and we had to move on uh, in accordance with their order until we reached Rakakao. Question. Earlier on, you also told the court that when you were along the way, you also saw corpses scattered and floating in the river. Did you observe whether or not uh, these uh, corpses were ordinary people or they were uh, soldiers? Response. Well, it is quite difficult to respond to this question because I did not know whether or not these corpses were ordinary civilians or soldiers, and if they were soldiers, whether or not they were soldiers of the Khmer Rouge or Lonol soldier. I did not even have time or chance to look at those uh, dead corpses. And I cannot tell uh, the court whether or not those corpses were soldiers of Lonol or Khmer Rouge soldier. And I believe that nobody would bother to uh, identify uh, the identity of the corpses. Uh, thank you, uh, prosec Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, of course, I just would like to know whether or not uh, you know that. If you don't know, that is fine indeed. I move on to my next uh, question. question. You also si told the court earlier that when you reach Rokakao, you were uh, incorporated into a cooperative. And uh, who inducted you into the cooperative? Response. I do not recall who asked me to Je join the cooperative, but there was announcement along the road uh, that the new people, the 17 April people from Phnom Penh, had to join Penh cooperatives. Those who had any properties, any uh, belongings, uh, they must not hide. They had to surrender those belongings and put them for uh, common use uh, as the property mm. of cooperatives. So they wanted to create a, a, a situation, a cooperative, where uh, people were equal, nobody is richer than anybody. 
que tout le monde soit au même niveau, qu'il n'y ait pas de gens Thank you, Madame Civil Party, Mr. President. I have no further question. And I thank you, the Civil Party, for participating in the proceeding in pursuit of ascertaining the truth. Dans notre quête thank you. De la vérité. President, thank you. The floor is now given to Nunji's defense to put questions to the civil party if you wish to do so. Qui pourra, le cas échéant, interroger les participants. Thank you, Mr. President. We have no questions. Coppe, merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous n'avons pas de questions. Thank you. Lastly, the floor is given le to Keith and Post Defense. Je vous remercie. La défense de Keith and Post Defense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vous remercie. 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 President, thank le you. Président. Thank you, Madame Cheng Yingli. The hearing of your statement of sufferings, harms, voilà and impact has now concluded. That you may now be excused uh, from the hearing of declaration in this. Uh, Court and your statement may contribute to ascertaining the truth. Du préjudice and we wish you all the very best. And chance. of course, you may return to your residence. And bien entendu, goodbye, Madame Cheng Engli. Au revoir, Madame Cheng Engli. Civil Party, yes. Goodbye, Mr. President. And Merci. of course, revoir, I urge Monsieur the Président. Chamber oui. to find justice for the Chambre Cambodian people. President, thank you. Pour le peuple cambodgien. Le président. Merci. President, the hearing today has come to a conclusion, voilà and we will resume tomorrow. That is the day. Thursday, the 30th of May 2013, and uh, for, for tomorrow, we will hear the testimonies of the statements of our suffering and harms and impact by civil parties during the democratic Cambodia regime. And we have four civil parties for tomorrow. That is CCCP 100, CCCP 149. TCCP 170 and lastly TCCP 117. Security guards to incited to take the two accused back to the detention facility and have them return to the court room tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. As for Nguyen Chia, take him through the holding cell downstairs which is equipped with audio-visual communication so that he can participate in the proceeding. The court is now adjourned.